Hello! In this video, we will go over the deployment of PowerProtect Data Manager in the Oracle Cloud VMware solution, also called OCVS. We will then protect and restore a virtual machine, or VM, using Transparent Snapshots Data Manager, or TSDM. Transparent Snapshots is an innovative and unique feature to Dell Technologies that enables faster backups and simplified management. It also reduces costs and the risk of data loss on your VMs. Now, let's move on with the demo. Let's take a quick overview of the OCVS environment, namely the servers in the cluster and target resource group, including the resource group called Workload, where we will be deploying our PowerProtect Data Manager appliance. Please note that Dell Technologies will support Data Manager deployments on OCVS starting with Data Manager version 19.14, available as of July 2023. To begin the deployment, right-click the Workload Resource Group and select Deploy OVF Template. Select the appropriate OVA file for Data Manager 19.14, then click Next. Specify a name and folder for the VM. Select Workload as the target for the deployment. For the configuration type for this deployment, select Oracle Cloud VMware Solution. For Storage, Select a preferred network from the list of networks configured in the environment. Next, enter the network details, including IP address, gateway, subnet, DNS, and fully qualified domain name for the data manager instance. Click Next. Review your selections and then click Finish to complete the deployment. Wait for the upload to complete, then power on the deployed VM. We will give some time for the auto configuration to complete. Later, after the configuration is complete, the PowerProtect Data Manager user interface will prompt you to enter a URL to configure the instance. Open a Google Chrome browser and enter the IP address of the VM we configured earlier. Using PowerProtect Data Manager, select New Install, review and accept the End User License Agreement, then click Next. Add a license if you have one. On the Authentication page, set the credentials for the appliance. On the System Settings page, select your preferred time zone. Then click Add and provide an IP address for your NTP servers. If you have the details, you can also configure email and auto support. This can also be done post-deployment. You can then review the summary. If everything looks good, click Done to install and configure the appliance. After it's configured, log into the appliance using the credentials that were previously set up. Let's move on to the next step, reviewing a TSDM protection policy and performing an ad hoc backup. In this example, we have already pre-integrated the vCenter with the PowerProtect DD backup appliance. Now, let's quickly review what a pre-configured policy looks like. Navigate to Protection and then Protection Policies. We can see that a few VMs are already configured with a backup schedule. Select a policy, in this case, TSDM, and then click Edit to review the configuration. The transport mode is set here for TSDM. Indexing is enabled as well. Now, let's trigger an ad hoc backup for a VM configured in the TSDM policy, and then review the job details. Select Infrastructure and Assets, then click the Virtual Machines tab to view the list of VMs. Select a VM configured with the TSDM protection policy, then click Backup Now to trigger the ad hoc backup. At the bottom of the screen, click the View Details hyperlink to view the job list. You can then click the job ID and then the magnifier to check the job details. We can see that the transport mode is set to Transparent Snapshots, or TSDM. 
We now wait for the job to complete. Now that the job is complete, we have successfully protected the VM hosted in the OCVS environment. For the next step, let's perform an instant access restore for the same VM. To begin, we select Restore, select the backed up VM, and then click Restore. In this menu, we can see the copies available. Select the most recent copy and click Next. Next, for the Restore type, select Instant Access, and then select the target resource group where you want the VM to be restored. Here, we'll select Workload. Select an ESX host. Provide a name for the VM instance. Select the appropriate network. Review the summary, then click Restore. Now that we have triggered an instance restore, let's review the job and wait for it to complete. Upon successful completion, we can view the active sessions and confirm that the copy is mounted. Thank you for watching this demo about how to deploy the Oracle Cloud VMware solution with PowerProtect Data Manager and how to restore a VM with transparent snapshots. To learn more about PowerProtect Data Manager, please visit dell.com slash PowerProtect Data Manager. Thanks for watching.